Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I'm your host. Uh, quick little recap. The anime channel of No More XP is done. I have rebranded, and now you see what it is now. It's Prime Field, but it could change at any point depending on copyright. So we'll just take it from there. So far, so good. Let's begin. Um, Blaze Blue Revolution Reburning is a side-scrolling game that I just happened to finally install on my PC, my phone, and I needed to get my hands on it because many people were talking about it years back and I just never got in tune with it. And I wasn't really all that, you know, I wasn't all that knowledgeable or interested in mobile games, but Dark War turned me into like a mobile gamer. So now I'm going back to actually look at this to see what lore and stuff I can like get out of it. And just from first impressions, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. The um, the intro, great. The opening for it, when you first install it, fantastic. Um, mostly good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good vibes and all that. Um, you get a, you do get some heroes in here, your characters, I guess you can say. And there's a pretty good, there's a pretty reasonable amount in here. There's Ragna the Blood Edge, Jin Kisaragi, Makoto, Nanaya, Tao Kaka, uh, Bang Shishigami, Iron Tiger, Mu 12, Amani Nishiki, Azrael, Kagura Mutsuki, Hakuman. I think I said Hakuman already. I just get like there's like there's so there's so much. And then there's a mystery character at the bottom of the screen we, of the of who you can pick. And I'm pretty sure that's unlimited Ragna. Now, I haven't played this game, so I'm not sure, but I'm positive that's unlimited Ragna based on the silhouette. But other than that, the story mode, it pretty much goes through the the shifts, I guess you can say. From what I'm looking, from what I looked at, it looked like it goes through the shift from Calamity Trigger. It's like storytelling from Calamity Trigger all the way up to Chrono Phantasma. It doesn't go into the central fiction lore because if that was the case, I'm sure we probably would have got playable Yuki Terami on here. So that's a no-no. Anywho, the fighting on here is it's okay. It's okay. To be honest. It's so different from Dark War that most people probably would like this more because it's not turn-based like Dark War, if you get my drift. Yeah, there's Astro Heats and all that stuff and Distortion Drives in both, but they would really love this game, whoever's a Blaze Blue head. And I say that because you get more freedom to do what you want in this game than you did in Dark War. Dark War was more like, it's pretty on, it's pretty on paper, but when you get it, you don't want to sit there and deal with it. Here, it's like, I can run, I can do all this instead of just let me strategize. It's more strategy in Dark War than it is on this. But I, but then again, I could be wrong. I've heard from multiple people that if you aren't equipped to deal with a boss, you can be destroyed easily. And that, it doesn't matter what level you're on. I've been told that and I haven't got to that point yet. But I hope to maybe sometime in the near future so I can make another video on how, you know, the boss kicked my ass or anything like that. I do want to point out that I have seen footage of a boss battle against Rachel. This is before I installed it. I've seen a boss battle against Rachel and she was using the Sukuyomi unit. Now... We all know what the Sukuyomi unit is that Rachel uses. It's the absolute defense that will pretty much, you're not getting through. And of course, it allows you to time travel and all that stuff too. But the Sukuyomi unit, I've seen whoever was playing, whatever mobile, whatever mobile user on YouTube was playing this game and he was battling against Rachel and she used the activated Sukuyomi unit and he could not get through that for nothing. It was great. I was just thinking, why isn't why isn't this like utilized in like any of the console version of the game? Like Calamity Trigger, Continuous Shift, Chrono Phantasma, Central Fiction, like it wasn't in any of those. And I thought to myself, well, that would just be that would just be the same thing as um Izanami using her little Susano 
shit from, you know, you know she put she pulls off the bones and you can't hit her, but she can hit you and it's devastating. And it, so it was it was great. It was great. I loved I love to see new stuff utilized. I've seen some new stuff with Hakuman as well, which I can't wait to get him so I can see that in like my own eyes instead of just a YouTube video. So, but other than that, overall, I give it an 8 out of 10 right now. I give it an 8 out of 10, just first impressions and everything like that. Seems like it's going to be a great game. I hope to do more with it, maybe make some more content with it, make small content, not too much, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, this is the new rebranded rebranded channel nothing else has really changed i'm sure you all know this from twitter anyway um hope to see you all in the next video holla at your boy i'm out